when I was illegally incarcerated in Atok jail, the first few days were particularly challenging. I wasn't provided a bed and had to sleep on the floor and had insects and mosquitoes all over me. But with time, I have adjusted well to the prison conditions. Let it be known that there's a difference of day and night between the Imran Khan of today and the Imran Khan who was imprisoned on August 5th. Today, I am stronger and fitter spiritually, mentally, and physically than ever before. During my time in prison, I have had the opportunity to study and research the Holy Quran in depth, along with other books which has strengthened my faith. I was also able to introspect the last few years of my political life. Regardless of what prison they keep me in, whatever conditions they impose upon me, I will not back down even an inch from the quest of Hakiki Azadi for the upholding of the rule of law and the constitution of Pakistan, at the core of which is free and fair elections. To those suggesting that I leave the country, know that I will live and die with Pakistan and I will not leave my land to go anywhere. As far as the Cypher case is concerned, this bogus case is designed to protect former Army Chief General Bajwa and Donald Liu. I was the elected Prime Minister of the country. Treason was committed against me and my Gov by General Bajwa. Instead of investigating the foreign conspiracy in orchestrating a regime change, a case has been filed against me for informing the people of Pakistan, the real protectors of this country, about this treason. If there's one thing that bothers not pains me is the suffering of my workers who have been illegally imprisoned, especially our women workers who have been in captivity for months, by a few people who abuse their power to satisfy their egos. I appeal to the judiciary to provide justice and order the immediate release of our workers. Finally, do not give up. This time of trial will end. Because Allah says that with every difficulty, there is ease. Keep raising your voice against this unelected predatory group and their facilitators at every forum and keep demanding a fair and transparent election in the country. I am predicting that on whatever day the election is held, people of Pakistan will come out in huge numbers to vote for Pakistan, Tehrika Insaf, and defeat all these parties combined. No matter how much these people cheat, their only destiny is defeat. Pakistan Zindabad.